Guys, Man on the Moon here with another video. Today, we are going to be taking a first look at Ellie. She just popped up in the promo wheel. She is the first ever specialist skill bide, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, we're going to start off by looking at everything else. She has an attack of 1,622 attack. Uh... 1,514 defense, 2,272 HP. Her trait is fast, her rule is a tank, and those stats kind of support that. So, start off with her rush. It's called Deceptive Mockery, 76 AP. Remove focus from up to three enemies. Those enemies get taunt for two turns. This character gets elusive for two turns. So, I kind of like it. I mean, the whole point of having taunt on defense teams is to, you know, tie up the opponent. And if they have focus, it, you know, obviously taunt and confuse don't work. So... For her to remove the focus, and then taunt, and she gives herself elusive. So, like, really, she is completely locking up three tunes for two turns. And they're just, you know, two turns later, they're still going to be where they at, where they, where they are at AP-wise. Um, her active skill is Pain Split and Heal. Which, this is kind of a new one, um, because this character and one teammate get pain split and regain 25% of their max HP for three turns. So, really, that's not bad. Um, I don't think, at least. I know a lot of people have issues with pain split, and I personally, I kind of do too a lot of the time. Um, just because it makes it so easy to get a double kill. Um, but, considering... She's going to be healing for three turns. I mean, that's 75% heal to two, turn, two tunes. I mean, that's pretty good. Um, with the specialist skill, it's a new one. Bide. This character stores the damage it takes from attacks, active abilities, and rushes. After reaching 2,000 stored damage, or if the defended action is if the defend action is used deal 150 percent of the stored damage to one enemy immediately stored damage is reset after use by does not trigger if this character is killed so the way i'm reading this is if she's taking damage you know she takes up to 2000 damage she immediately uses the bide. And I, I want to say that, like, if you're attacking her, it'll be, it'll kind of be like, um, lightning reflexes or payback in the sense that the damage will be dealt to your tunes or your tune on your turn. So, like, this is one of those abilities that, like, if you do it improperly, you could actually lose a raid on your turn. Um, or, but the, the other part of that is, like, on offense, if you decide to, like, say she doesn't have that 2,000 stored up, say she only has 1,500 of it stored up, you can defend to trigger the bide yourself. So it's kind of good for offense and defense to me, it seems. Um, because you, uh, you know, on defense it's doing it automatically on their turn, so it's not wasting a turn for you. And on offense, you can just trigger it whenever you want. And I like that. She does have an attached weapon. When being attacked, a 50% chance to gain 20% bonus HP. 30 defense and 15 HP in the upgrade slot. Um, so what we're looking at here is, in my opinion, 
another far, five star weapon. Um, I mean, they just they they were nice enough to not throw it in our face and give it a fifth star, but along with Raven, with them saying when being attacked a fifty percent chance, that's that's a heck of a lot better than your average, you know, weapon that you can craft when it says a better chance to. Because a better chance equals somewhere between, like, 30 and 35%. This is straight up 50%. And I don't care what anybody says, that's that's not a 4-star weapon ability. That's not a 150 power score ability. That's, that's a 5-star weapon. Um... They just don't want to have to actually put five stars in the game, so they call it a four star. That's my opinion. If you don't like it, fight me. Uh, <laughs> you know. Um, but overall, I think she she looks like a good a good tune. Um, I probably won't. I mean, I don't have enough for a ten pull at the moment. Personally, I might do a single just because. Um, but I like her. I, I do like her. Um, so that's going to be the end of my video, guys. That was a first look at Ellie, or L. I don't know how you would say it. I'm sure there's people out there laughing at me about how I'm pronouncing her name, but, uh, that was our first look at her. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you're going to pull for her. If you do pull for her and you get her, let me know. Um, if you see something in her kit that, like, I just missed, uh, let me know. I, I, I feel like there's a lot of stuff that you can do with this kind of a specialist skill and this kind of a character. So, it's going to be the end of my video. Remember, guys, this is a game, so try to have fun. This is going to be your friendly neighborhood man on the moon, signing off. Later, guys.